So just giving you guys a little behind the scenes of how the lab works and functions. Here we have a clean room. So basically when we strike the stem cells, we strike stem cells from the patient, we bring them here and our technician goes in here. You know, you have to wear a mask, body suit, everything is super sterile. We process those cells there, basically get them ready. And then we store them here in this fridge, which is negative 80 Celsius. And we process them, them and we want to store them in a controlled temperature. We want to get them colder and colder little by little. Then once they're ready to be stored, we store them here. And this is in liquid nitrogen. This is a cryogenic tank. So we store them there and those cells are not going to age one more day. They're going to be preserved in time for as long as the patient needs. So this is a very important process. Then we have all these different freezes. So, so when we're throwing those samples, we also have to do it in a very systematic way. We have controlled temperature centrifuges, uh, uh, ice bath uh, or, 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 or bath to also control the temperature. Um, we have all these machines basically to analyze the samples, cell counters. Um, we have a DNA sequencer. We have different centrifuges, like all these things. And what we're able to do is really assess the quality of these stem cells and the samples that we're storing just to make sure that there's no chance of infection, cross-contamination, and that the samples are the best quality.